Hi guys, it's Tori Pretty Tori's Hideout and today I have a Walmart haul for you and this bag is so ginormous because I have a ginormous haul. So let's get started. Me and my sister went to Walmart because, uh, well we don't really have a Walmart near us as you guys all know so we usually have to drive for about 30-40 minutes to get to a Walmart so we kind of make like a big thing about it and go get everything that we need in one go that way we don't have to you know drive back and forth so I wanted to go because I really wanted to try flower the Drew Barrymore makeup and then I also needed some you know home stuff so not only did I get like some food stuff and you know gel and stuff for my hair but I got the makeup and when I buy makeup I always I never buy what the makeup just the makeup that I wanted you know what I mean I always buy too much so let's get started because this might be a long video so for Drew Barrymore her uh, makeup line is called flower and I wanted to try it because it is a drugstore cosmetic line but it's real it's a good company like everything is made here in the USA it's not tested on animals and you know who doesn't love Drew Barrymore so the first thing I got from her line is the quad and the quad is called Foxy Browns, and it looks like this. They do have other colors in the quad, but this is the one that I wanted. So you get a matte brown, a shimmery taupe, a shimmery brown, and a shimmery pink. And now I'm going to swatch them for you. So the pink looks like this. The brown looks like that. Focusing. And then that was the shimmer brown. The matte brown is like this, and then the taupe is like this right here. So these are what they look like here and here, and they are so buttery, velvety, soft. I love the way they feel. I do notice, like, if you can see, like, you know, just because I'm swatching them on my hand, there's a little bit of fallout. I haven't tried them on my eyes yet. I just got these today. So here's what they look like. I am in love. This is her lipstick here. And this is called the Velvet Lip Chubby. And this is in the color, let's see, color Ready Red Apostrophe D to Bloom. And this is her red velvet. It's gorgeous. If you could see. And then I'm going to swatch it on my hand for you it's like a brick orangey red I love it love love it's matte it's not it doesn't dry out your lips so it's not like a color stay but it is a matte so it's matte but moisture which everyone needs moisture in the winter and the second one that I got is another velvet chubby stick and this one is called, oh, this one's called Barrymore. This, this reminds me of her. Like, I can see Drew in this color. And that's what this one. So we have Ready to Bloom and Barrymore here. Love, love, recommend for everyone. And then the last thing that I got was the Kiss Stick Luxury Lip Color in Baby Buttercup. And I'm a little... Um, so the first Walmart, we actually went to a couple, the first Walmart that we went to, they had these in the wrong spot and marked wrong. It was really weird. But, so I got this one and when I swatched it, I was pleased to see it was like a, there's a little bit of a sheen, but it, for most, it is a, um, matte finish and it's like a matte nude. So I'm in love and I have to try it. Ooh. And let's talk about her packaging. Look at her packaging. Look, It's so pretty. It's elegant. It doesn't look like drugstore quality. And it's not drugstore makeup quality. I mean, I know they've really stepped up their game in the drugstore makeup brands. But it's really good. And then um, another makeup item that I got not Drew Barrymore is L'Oreal. And if you can guess it, give me a thumbs up right now. Three, two, one infallibles amber rush this is the most like popular color i think at least on youtube because everyone has it everyone talks about it and there's a reason 
look at this color. It really does look like you just put foil paint on your fingertip. And it's the same when you swatch it. It looks like foil on your skin. I cannot wait to play with this color. I'm so excited. And then going in that direction of the foils, I noticed that um, ELF had a new product called the Smudge Pot. Well, they have smudge pots, but this is long lasting eyeshadow and eyeliner and it is basically like shimmers that you can use as eyeliner or uh, eyeshadow and it really reminds me of the Maybelline Tattoo ones and so the colors I got were the only colors available and it is Cruisin, Sh Cruisin Chick and Brownie Points. So Cruisin Chick is like a shimmery like taupe type deal. That's this one. And then Brownie Points is like a shimmery foil brown. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. These are only $3, so I do recommend that you guys go and get these. They're definitely like half off of the infallible um, infallible ones. So half off, you get basically the same quality, and they're just really pretty. Okay, and then still on makeup, we have the Maybelline The Nudes Palette. Everyone already has this. I didn't have it. Like I had a lot of... Um, other palettes but I, I was kind of not going to get this one but I got it and this is what it looks like here so you get one two three four five six twelve colors a couple matte a couple shimmers I'm excited to try this I'm not going to swatch these ones just because there's 12 of them and I will run out of room on my hand and then more makeup I did go to the wet and wild section and get two of their neutral like eyeshadow and eye stick here this is to this is what I use to line the inner of my eye if you could see it right there and it is in the color where's the color it's called calling your bluff and it is their coal crayon so it's their coal crayon in the color calling your buff, your bluff, your buff, your butt. And then this one is their color icon brulee. I love this color for, you know, all over lid or like to blend out like a light smoky eye. You can't really see it on my skin because I'm fair skinned, but it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And I think that is all. Oh, I lied. I got more makeup. So I also wanted to try something from Hard Candy. And I really have been looking for like a brown um, liquid pencil. So I got this one. It is called their 12 hour smudge proof liquid liner in the color O Fudge. And so this is what it looks like. It's just a felt tip. And when you write with it, it is really pretty. I think I want to go back and get more of these just because it works so good and they're only like five dollars so I think I want more colors I I kind of want to get into like you know liquid eyeliner in more colors than just black because black is all I wear and then to finish out the cosmetics I did get some makeup brushes so the first one came in a pack of three and you get these three here so you get the angled shadow brush right here you get the angled eyeliner brush which is this one here and then you get the large shadow brush which is this one here the reason why I bought these is because they're kind of like flat right here so easy to grip with your finger I wanted to try them so I did try them with the Drew Barrymore a flower quad and I have to say um, they do pick up a lot of product but it falls out once the brush hits your skin so I'm gonna try it on my eyes let you know this one here I tried with the um, ELF smudge plot smudge pots and it worked really good 
so I'm excited. And then the last two brushes were just replacements for ELF brushes. So the first one is their concealer brush right here, has a tip like that. And then the second one is the small angled brush like that. And I got this to try on my eyebrows because I used the Anastasia one. And that one, you know, it's getting a little, it's getting a little abused. Okay, so that's it for makeup. Now let's get into jewelry. So for jewelry, I got three things. The first two, um, I'm missing one. So the first two are these earrings here. They're only $2.88. And this one is a gold, like, gemstone in the back. And then a black rose. Can you see the rose? I love these earrings. They're simple. They're classic. They're gorgeous. And then this one here is, of course, mint green with a gold medal and white rhinestones all around it. Again, gorgeous, $3, you can't beat it. And then we noticed that they had their statement necklaces, like their ginormous statement necklaces, on sale half off $5. So I had to get this one here. It has like nude stones with white and gold and gemstones. And I'm going to a wedding at the end of the month, so I'm going to wear this with my dress. $5, and you get it that day. So it's almost a little bit better than ordering from Dresslink or AliExpress. Okay, and then I got clothes, of course. So for my goddaughter, I got her a tank top type, like, just to go under her shirts. She's young, she doesn't need a bra, but she needs a bra. And then for my mom, I got this here because it was on clearance. It's a pink stripe, like quarter length sleeve shirt. And then I got one for myself as well, but I got it in purple because I ordered a purple purse from uh, AliExpress, a lilac one. You can't really see the color too well, but it's like a light purple with gray. It'll go really good. Those are only $5, so I got me and her one. And then I got myself some socks. These ones are Lion King. You get a pack of two for $2.96. This one has uh, Simba and Pumbaa and Timon. And on the other side is Simba all grown up. I know. I miss Mufasa. Okay, and then these are so cool because you know how they have those socks for the babies that look like tennis shoes so they don't have to wear shoes with like, because they can't walk, they're in the strollers. So I got some for myself, not to wear outside of course, just around here. And they do have the grips on the bottom, so they're like slipper socks. Excited, excited. And then for my Novio, I got him a couple of shirts because we are going... Um, we are going on a little trippy trip. So the first one is this rustic orange, like, long sleeve t-shirt. It's really cold where we're going, so this should keep him semi-warm. And then the next one is a green polo. It's like a Kelly green and it's a polo and I got it because he doesn't really have anything green and St. Patty's Day is coming up. So I had to get him something green. And the last one is going to be maybe his favorite. It's like a light blue with navy blue stripes and white stripes and he really likes this type. It's another polo. I love uh, the prices there so you can't really beat them. And then the last piece of clothing that I have is for my dog. It says wag instead of swag. And I just thought it was so cute. It's a pink little sweater. And, you know, she doesn't really wear clothes because she's like, you know, a little prissy dog like that. She has allergies. So to keep her from scratching and making herself bleed so much, we get her like little sweaters or shirts. So there's something to guard it. And, Oh, and I got this black tank top. It's just a rib tank top. I think that's it. 
Oh, one last thing. I got myself some jeggings. They are my favorite jeggings in the world. They look like jeans and it's like a pewter blue type color. And they are from Walmart. I've had plenty of these and I love them. So I'm excited because it's spring and I needed some spring pants. All I have is black pants. So I got these and I got all that. And if you like Walmart, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like Walmart, don't tell me why because I love Walmart. Okay, you can tell me why. You can come and say hi on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or my blog, prettytoria.com. I love you guys. Have a wonderful evening or day or whatever time of the time that you're watching this. Bye.